Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to get a super smooth caulking line. Now, as you can see, I am in the process of re-caulking my bathtub. And whenever I caulk something for the first time or re-caulk something, I like my caulking lines to be extremely smooth. And in my opinion, there is only one foolproof way to accomplish that. And that is by using painter's tape. So the goal here is to use painter's tape to cover, um, to cover both edges, both sides of the caulking line. So basically in this situation right here with, um, with myself re-caulking the bathtub, I am going to put a line of painter's tape along the tiles and a line of painter's tape along the edge of the bathtub. And that is, I will put the line of painter's tape where I want the caulking to end on both sides. Now the goal here is to, um, you know, with regards to how much space you need to leave between the lines of painter's tape, the goal here is to leave enough room for the caulking to completely cover the gap, but don't leave so much room, um, don't leave too much room, because if you leave too much room, you're going to have this massive bead of caulking and it won't look nice. So I am basically going to apply the painter's tape right now um, along the tiles and along the edge of the bathtub and I will be back shortly. All right, so as you can see, I have used the painter's tape all around the perimeter of the bathtub. And I have created two straight lines with the painter's tape. Now the next step is to apply the caulking around the perimeter of the bathtub in between the two lines of painter's tape. And once I have applied the caulking, I will dip my finger in water and use my wet finger to smooth out the bead of caulking that I have just applied. And immediately after I have smoothed out the bead of caulking with my wet finger, I will remove the painter's tape. And that is the one tip that I will give you for when you are using this method. Remove the painter's tape immediately after you have smoothed out the bead of caulking with your wet finger. And if you follow the steps in this video and you, you do everything properly when you use this method, you will definitely have a super smooth caulking line. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.